GLA double dollar sign each side. That's right, glasses Malone. Right here, man, hip hop real estate, it goes down. Check out my new video, Get Busy, featuring Tiger. It's finna go down, it's madness. Ladies, let's go. All eyes on her, her them in the her mace skirt. Matching with the her mace purse. Got it coordinate, drop the coat on her hair. Drop, drop it in my lap, let a nigga know it's real. Welcome to Boston. 100, man, 100. So, people that is not familiar with who Glasses Malone is, can you reintroduce yourself to those that don't know who are going to introduce yourself? Um, Glasses Malone, aka Glasses Loaf. Just a local street hooligan that been doing this thing, man, and learning music and in the game like six years now. Just pay my dues, ready to go. So, here we go. Yeah. I'm about to go on tour with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know. So, this whole promo tour is no shows. It ain't nothing but just meeting the people and, and letting people have music. Meeting the people. Coming to do, holla at people, meeting people, give out the music. I, it ain't really to do no show, no party, no club. I want to spend every minute at the barbershop, every minute at the neighborhood, at the local clothing store. I know you were signed to a lot of different labels that, that went in, thought like, okay, why the West Coast artists been signed to? Cash money. Yeah. yeah. How, when did, when, how did it all come about and what happened? I mean, I had one CD that I put out around 06 that was like really big. You know, um, I took a lot of my like, politics from slanging, and banging, and low riding, racing cars, and I just was able to, to take the music and take it everywhere. It was a really good project. It was called White Lightning. And it just started buzzing, man. And I was with, I used to hang out with gaming in them at the time real tough. So I had a lot of access to the Black Wall Street platform and it just got real big. So people started coming down and they were seeing like my pull in the streets. And, you know, I ended up signing with Baby and, and Mac 10. And, um, it was crazy. I mean, like I said, to be signed to somebody based out of Miami from New Orleans, it was different, you know, but it was a lot of street politics that made it like extra sweet for people to even deal with me. I'm, you know, I'm one of the type of guys that could really, you know, somebody tried to take a chain from me, get your chain back, make sure that nobody do nothing. So it worked out really well at that time for oh, me. Oh, so basically you was saving baby, like no one, nah. nobody was touching them. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, he still managed to get himself in some stuff, but I mean, it was definitely a lot influential to have me next to him. I mean, it's LA, so ain't no one man more powerful than the city. Okay. But, you know, you got enough relationships from living out there, it's good. Bro. So, my question is, how is the real estate out there in California? In California, it's expensive. So, it's more expensive than him? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I'm from so Watts. Kind of so Watts. Watts is probably, between Watts and the low bottom east side, it's probably the worst place you can live as a black person in Southern so, California. The houses in my hood are about 300,000. So you really can't gangbang right now. That's 2100 a month. Everybody got to get a job up in here. That's gangbanging kind of slowing down because everybody got to go to work. They got 2100, 22 or something. You, yeah, you roll them taxes in, it's about 23. So how many bedrooms would that be? Uh, that's a shotgun house, 600 square feet. On about 1,200 right, square foot left. Jeff, two times calling you. Jeff, he's on the radio. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff two times. He's on the radio, Jeff. Yeah, nah, real estate bad, man. It's, it's high right now, man. So my boy just bought a spot half a million. It ain't nowhere near nothing that should be half a million. Like Atlanta, half a million, you'll get a, you'll get a estate. You'll get one of them old slave plantations. Hey, Atlanta, make, make sure you holler my dude, hip hop, real estate, you know. Get your house anywhere you want. Yeah, they saw her. They sold the Van Holyfield old house, the one Rick Ross got hurt. They sold that for like thirty dollars or something. It's damn it's bad right now. We really stayed out there. That's bad. I got that other one. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be in Detroit in a couple weeks. I, you know, I heard they got some really good. You could buy like a block for like ten thousand or something. Glasses Malone spin that truth. Trying to tell you he's on that big city one one point three. Hip hop real estate in here. I'm a fool with it, baby. Team Jerk. Yo, it's yours truly, DJ Dex, Big City 101.3, 130 Team Jerk. Yo, I think this guy name is Kev Carey. I don't know. But he's the illest guy you need to know. Carey's my guy. Hip hop real estate. You need a house. You need a crib. You need something. Or you need a something? Holla, I'm going to do Carey. Hip hop real estate. He got them cribs worldwide, baby. Worldwide. Hip hop real estate. You see that? Boom. Little mama know the deal, I beat it, beat it up. 
and Van the Holyfield. Get hoes in your shirt just for acting like a hoe. Only rap nigga out in traffic in a foe like it's 1994 and I paroled out of Folsom. He ain't from the set of young glasses, don't know him. Oh, you mean? And ever since I copped the GS, that chick's like, oh, recess. She ain't playing.